It's time now for the Peter Chell Morning News for this Monday morning, April 13th, 2015. <laughs> Good morning, you all. Welcome to Monday morning. Back to work, back to school. Do you know your morning news that dines here and our top three at 7.03. Here is Hillary Clinton will take the road trip to Iowa for the first campaign event as she announced yesterday that she'll be running for president in 2016. Another Sunday sermon, another international uproar. Controversy appears to become a habitat for Pope Francis a week after he accused the world of standing meat where all Christians were slaughtered. The Pope began stirred anger by causing the 1915 Armenian Genocide Debate. Gunter Graf, the German novelist, social critic, and Nobel Prize winner, whom many called his country's moral conscience, but who stunned Europe when he revealed in 2006 that he had been a member of the Waffen SS during World War II, died on Monday. In Washington, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says that the United States has embarked on a policy of transformation with its engagement with Cuba. A year after a finished master debut, the 21-year-old speech turned into a record second sudden performance at the Augusta National Golf Club in Georgia to set his ascendancy as a top American golfer. Jean-Marie Le Pen, founder of the French National Affairs, pulled out of regional elections after a bitter public will with his daughter, who now leads the French far-right party. Party calls on Israel to immediately hold intensive talks with the U.S. to make its concerns about nuclear deals known and set up contingencies should Iran break out of the nuclear weapon. And Bill Mann said that the labor will change the way the country is read and who it is read for as he launched the party's election manifesto. In Miami, Washington, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio will make a must go forward policy a focal point when he announces. His presidential candidate said Monday, a portrait of himself as a Republican most ready to handle threats in America. Wildfires have killed at least 15 people in Israel, about 400 in the Cassia region of 7 Siberia, Russian media reported. Officials said that the fire is fueled by a high winds and dry river, destroyed 1,200 houses and 30 towns and villages here in Phoenix. An Arizona judge has affected his heart on Monday, where Jody Arias, who was convicted in 2013 of killing her boyfriend, ex boyfriend, and will spend the rest of her life in prison and possibly be eligible for parole after 25 years. In the face of the jury selected to cover a theater shooting, cases set to start with attorneys questioning prospective jurors as a large group. A white reserve deputy accidentally shot at our black men with a gun, alternatively, of a taser and open law enforcement. Officials buried in the men's land grabbed. Died on the ground according to physics camera footage released during the weekend. Shanghai Chinese stocks jumped to a fresh seven year high on Monday after surprisingly bad export data reinforced expectations the government will unveil fresh stimulus moves to aid the economy. More trade stocks, more traders stick strike up options to higher WTI price by the list, one that oil fundamentals were made weak. Australia's dollar headed for its seems to die in three weeks, leading to a drop in the currencies of a commodity producing nations that are slump in China's imports. Still concerned that the world's second biggest economy is slowing. Bad trade numbers would increase worries in the economy. Costs were made suddenly high, a trade official. Okay, let's take a look at the stock market report here on this Monday morning here now. 18,057.65. We'll start today up 90 for 92, and then speed fiber will start today 2102.06, and that's a Sunday 49, 95 for 98. When the town restaurant, Luca Paramantano, was asked what he missed most during the stay aboard the International Space Station, it wasn't family and friends, it wasn't food, it was coffee. A, a supernova may not be accurate enough. In measuring the universe's expansion since the Big Bang, a team of astronomers has discovered a type of certain type of supernova or explosive on which God used measured at depths. Health Diagnostics Laboratory and Siglex Corporate have agreed to pay a company out of total about $48.5 million dollars have been found to have been shut out for millions of dollars worth of fully unnecessary medical testing. Based on experience, it's ended up in running an Ebola clinic in Africa last year. But I'm a physician, and I'm living in the scene, have published. Research to help doctors determine a patient's risk of having a disease until lab results are available. All right, let's take a look at some New England alerts here at 708. I 
In private notes, but a gas station is 246 Valley Street was robbed at gunpoint and two suspects fled on foot. In sports, the Boston Celtics defeated the Cleveland Cowboys 117 78. Last night, the Boston Red Sox got shelled by the New York Yankees last night at Yankee Stadium 14 4. Today, the Boston Red Sox will be opening the the Fenway Park home opener 2015 this afternoon 3 or 5 p.m. against the Washington Nationals at Fenway Park. And the North Lanterns. Boys varsity baseball team will be having a home opener at Northern High School at Dave Balkan Field against the Halston Petfords. Game time, 3 30. Indiana Pacers finish your robust remain in playoff race. Angelique Kerber won six of the last seven games of rally pass. Madison Keys and win the family member circle. Cup 6246. Six, 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 five on Sunday, Chelsea, South Carolina. Let the rumors start flying as fast as 9 7. Mile power pass ball bids to the Kosher New Carter. Seattle Seahawks. Quarterback Russell Wilson in his question of ocean play baseball during NFL offseason. The only way James Harden is to turn is that whether they could move the Houston Rockets from 6th to 2nd in the Western Conference. Peter Children's Arms, now 709, and it is time now for our travel report on this Monday morning. Back to work, back to school here, and look at Route 95 on the northbound side here, and it is a little slow from the Ponset Street. It's all the way up to Route 120 in Kenton here. Route 24 on the northbound side, slow from 140 in Talk all the way out to Route 44 in Raider Bear, and then you hit the brakes again from 189 in Sultan all the way out to Route 120 in Captain here. Route 3 in the North Mountain Side, it's slow from Route 228 in Rockland all the way out to Derby Street in Higgin, and then you hit the brakes again around Route 18 away Wayman around Union Street, and all the way out to the brake tree split. And a Look at 129 on the on side, inspector from 24 and Randolph all the way after the brain tree split. 129 on the north on side, still after 37 of brain tree, all the way up to route 24. And. Kenton here. And then you hit the brakes again on 129 on the north on side from 95 and Kenton all the way out to Highland Avenue, Nita. Safi says, press one at the north front side. Then back up from the spray tree split all the way out to Mass Ave exit. Mm. Route 93 to the south front side. Slow from 128. Read it all the way up to the Zaken Bridge. Route 1 to the south front side. Slow from Toby Bridge to Chelsea all the way out to Route 93. 129 on the south front side. And it's backed up from. Linfield all the way up to before Route 4, 225, Lexington and Deer. On the mass pack, still after 495, Westport, all the way out to Natick, and he hit the brakes again from 128 in Western, all the way up to Newton, and he hit the brakes again in Ryan Austin Martin Tolls. There, Route 2 to the East Pond side, so from Route 16 to Belmont, all the way up to Fresh Pond Parkway, Cambridge. Here, and Route 3 to the South Pond side, Inspector from 495, and Chelsea all the way up to Route 120 to Merlin to there, 93 to the south front side, expect that from 62 and Wilmington all the way out to Route 129 and Reading there. Let's take a look up in New Hampshire here, where it is smooth sailing here in the Granite State here. And the main turn pack is looking good from York all the way up to the port near. And 45 in the north front side. A little slow around. Wilton here. And all the highways in Worcester, Logan Good, and the only slow spot in Rhode Island is 6 tech connectors slow from Route 6 all the way after 95 in the downtown Providence. And Route 130 in the north front side slow from James Town all the way up to Newport, via the Newport Bridge here. And the board bridge is a little slow. Stagmore Bridge is looking good as the board bridge is a little slow on the south side. And 140 on the north front side, a little slow before Route 24 and top near.
Okay, let's take a look at the MBTA alerts here. So on, as all four experts in minor lanes due to disabled bus on the commuter rail. Franklin Line, train 706 635 a.m. from Forge Park 495, delayed today 15 to 20 minutes due to late train traffic ahead. And Franklin Line, train 704 605 a.m. from Forge Park 495, delayed today 10 to 15 minutes out of Forge Park. Low Line, train 352 655 a.m. from Anderson, Woburn, canceled today due to mechanical problem. Permanent Stoughton Line, train 806-58 a.m. from Wick Rejection, delayed today, 10 to 15 minutes due to an early mechanical problem. Here. Hit our time is now 7.13. You're on this. Monday morning here, and let's take a look at the weather report here. For today, we're going to have some increasing clouds, high about 60 degrees here. For that, chance of showers, high low about 40 degrees. For Tuesday, we got some showers with a high about 64 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 8%. For Tuesday, we're going to have some mostly close clouds, high about low about 40 degrees. For Wednesday, we're going to have some sunny to mostly close clouds, high about 61, low about 37 degrees. For Thursday, we got some mostly sad and mostly cloud clouds, how about 56 low, about 40 degrees. And for Friday, chest shots, how about 59 degrees, chest of precipitation, 40%. Norton temperature setting at 34 degrees with some fair skies. And that is going to be it for the Peter Chill. More the news on this. Monday morning, April 13th, 2015. Be with you. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye bye, buddy.